students today I'm again in front of you with one more problem with one more question that is we have to determine the moment of inertia of a circular lamina so this is a circular lamina this bigger circle is the circular lamina and the radius of the circular lamina is capital R and we have cut a elementary ring out of this bigger circle that elementary ring has a radius of small r and this elementary ring has a thickness of dr and there are two axes which are passing through its centroid that is x axis and y axis so these are the two axes which are passing through the centroid of both elementary ring as well as the bigger circle so one thing which i need to explain here that this time there is the third axis so this pen is the third axis this is an x axis this is an y axis and this axis is the polar axis or the z axis so this polar axis is exactly perpendicular to the center of its centroid of the circle so it's these three axes are mutually perpendicular to each other so we will determine the moment of inertia of this elementary circle as well as the whole circle about the polar axis that is z z axis so let us start finding the moment of inertia of this elementary circle first so we know that moment of inertia of the elementary elementary circle elementary circle that is equal that is equal da r square that's area area of the elementary circle and square of its distance so what is the area of the elementary circle that is the circumference that is da that is the circumference circumference of the circle is equal to 2 pi r and its thickness that is dr so this is the area of this elementary circle now let's substitute this in the above equation if we substitute this value in the above equation what we are getting that is we are getting 2 pi r into dr into r square so if we multiply this r with this what we are getting 2 pi r cube dr so this is the moment of inertia of the elementary circle elementary circle about its axis that axis is polar axis now we are going to find out the moment of inertia of this bigger circle so we will integrate this equation so about the same axis that is its z z axis we will integrate within the limits of 0 to r because we are going to find out the moment of inertia of the bigger circle that means the limits are 0 to r so what are these above equation that's 2 pi r cube dr so this is a common term as we did in the previous case this common term will go out so it is 2 pi 0 to r inside is r3 dr so if we give the limits 2 pi will give the limits r4 by 4 0 to r now let's substitute the value of r here that means what we are getting i do it here we will, we are getting i z z is equal to 2 pi r4 by 4 So two ones are to two. That is pi r four by two. This is moment of inertia of this circle about its axis. That axis is z z axis. If we substitute the value of r here, we know the r is equal, or rather we can write down d is equal. What is d is equal? That is two r, or that means r is equal. d by 2 so we will substitute we will consider instead of r we will consider here it is d that that we know r is equal to d by 2 so we will substitute the same value here that means i z z that means i z z is equal pi by 2 and substituting the r value here that is d d by 2 4 so if we give the values that is pi by 2 it is d4 it is 16 means it's pi d4 divided by 32 32 that means pi d4 by 32 is the moment of inertia of this circle 
about its axis that axis is polar axis but we are going to know the moment of inertia of this circle about its centroidal x x axis and y y axis in that moment of inertia of this circle about x axis is equally same what is the moment of inertia about the y y axis so we can say i x axis is exactly same with i y y perpendicular axis says i z z i z z is equal to i x x plus i y y but we know i x x is equal to i y y so can we replace this value with i x x yes that means i x x is equal to i x i z z is equal to i x x plus i x x so that means i z z is equal to to i x x so that means i x x is equal to i z z by 2 what is the value of i z z the i z z value is pi d4 by 32 and it is 1 by 2 that means pi d4 by 64 that is the moment of inertia of this circle about x axis as i said i x axis equal to i y y that means it is also equal to i y y is also equal to pi d to the power of 4 by 64 that means moment of inertia of the circle about its centroidal axis is pi d4 to the uh, pi d4 by 64 now assume there is a hollow circle now assume there is a hollow circle and we have to determine the moment of inertia of a hollow circle so there is a circle there is a bigger circle and there is a smaller circle so this smaller circle has a dia small d and this bigger circle circle has a dia capital d so what is the moment of inertia in such case so we are going to determine the moment of inertia of a hollow circle so moment of inertia of a hollow circle is nothing it is the moment of inertia moment of inertia of a bigger circle bigger circle that means the outer circle we can write the outer circle and minus because this is the hollow that means it is cut off so it is cut out circle so that means minus that's why we are using the sign minus minus moment of inertia of a smaller smaller that means uh, inner inner circle so what is the moment of inertia of the outer circle as we know it is equal pi d to the power of 4 by 64 and since it's a circle again so but it has a dia that dia is smaller d so we are going to use pi d to the power of 4 64 so we can take d out or we can say we can take this constant terms out that means pi 64 inside is capital d4 minus smaller d4 is the moment of inertia of this hollow circle i hope you got this question and please do keep watching and share my videos with your friends Thank you very much for watching me.